hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started so this is the color code i'm going to use then copy it Then Ctrl plus B to paste. Then go back to your test document and I'm going to copy the heading here. That is the church name. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to white. Also change the font to Beba's new. Make it bold. Then close the character spacing and reduce the font size. Place it vertical. Then go to your resource file and I'm going to import the logo. Reduce the size. Position it over here. Alright. Then apply vertical alignment then click OK. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then go back to your test document to copy your test. Ctrl plus V to paste. Open the character spacing. Make it 860. Okay. Then reduce the size. Now I'm going to import this background here. Scale it out a little and drag it down. All right. Change your blending mode to overlay. Then blend over here. Then I'm going to copy this test here. And this is the test effect I'm going to use. So open the smart object. Select your test tool, highlight it and paste. Select the test tool again. I'm going to break it into two. Reduce the font size. Something like this is okay. Then I'm going to click yes to save it. Wait while it load. Now the next thing, then close the background or you turn it off. Then export it as PNG. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hold my Shift plus Control plus Alt key. And I will press E so you can see the layer at the top. Then I will drag it here. Then reduce the font size and position it where you want it to be. Increase the size. 
something like this then drag it up position it just the way you want it to be now i'm going to copy this text then select your text to and close the space Ctrl plus V to paste then change the font to cage then I will position it around here reduce the font size Now go to your test document to copy the color code then Ctrl plus V to paste then I will group it this is my test then I will group this one as the heading Now let's continue then I'm going to draw a cycle hold down your shift key to make it perfect increase it a little then I'm going to copy the color code ctrl plus c to copy Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then change this one to white. Hold your Alt key and reduce the size. Now I'm going to apply effect on that layer. Then I'm using inner bevel and the techniques smooth. Then leave the depth at 115 and the size 16. Then this is the contour I use. Then go back to your drop shadow. Then use multiply the opacity 100%, 9, 6, and 11. Okay. So this is the outcome of it. Then I'll turn this one so you can see the outcome of the background now. So the next thing I'm going to group it and rename it. Now duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Now drag this one over here. Then I'm going to duplicate it again. Then I will drag this one over here. Use your arrow key then to move it. Then I will group all of them together. Apply vertical alignment. I will reduce the size a little. Then now I'm going to apply the date and the time. Then apply superscript to the test there. Then increase the font size. Then I'll drag this one up to create a space. Then bring the icon. Reduce the size. 
then control plus u for hue and saturation control plus c to copy control plus v to paste then copy this color code here then apply the color code drag it down then you copy your text ctrl plus c to copy then duplicate this one ctrl plus j bring it down highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then make it equal you select the two tests then increase the size all right then bring icon for time reduce the size then ctrl plus u you drag it over here to apply the white color then copy your text ctrl plus c to copy select your text tool ctrl plus v to paste then you position it at the front increase the size something like this Hold your control key while you select it, then you group it. Centralize it. Though we are coming back to make a change when we place the location. Now I'm going to the background now. Go to your resource file. I'm going to bring this background image. Increase the size. Then change it to linear Deutsch. Then bring this image here then drag it up bring it down and drag it up position it this way now go to your blending mode and change it to soft light Apply your layer mask. Then I'm going to blend the light over there. Blend the edges. Then drag this present up. Okay. Now I'm going back to my resource file. Now bring this design lights here then take it over to this position then you click ok change the blending mode to overlay all right Then I'm going to reduce this letter a little. Now come back to this look area. Bring this image, reduce the size, position it at the center of the cycle.
Then I'm going to create a clipping mask. You can fix the image the way you want. So this is how I'm going to continue for the rest. So done. Then now go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this light flare. Reduce it a little then bring it and position it under here apply your layer mask reduce your, the brush then and clean over here okay Go back to your resource file and I'm going to bring this light glow. Position it around here. Then change the bloody mode to screen. Then control project to duplicate it. And I will move it to this position. So you can place it anywhere you want. Then this is what we have here. I'm going to group it and rename it. Then I'll keep it separate. All right. So I'm making adjustment before I come to the location. Then I'm going to group the background. Now we are coming back to the location now. Ctrl plus U, then you drag it to apply white background. Then select your test tool and type your location manually. Reduce the font size and position it where you want it to be. Now I will apply vertical alignment to centralize the test. Then apply character spacing to the test there. Something like this is okay. So that is all. We have come to an end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for following. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.